When a man realized that a polar bear was chasing him through the cold waters of Alaska, he was terrified. However, when he found out the reason, he was moved to tears, and he had to leap into action. One chilly morning, seasoned tour guide Roland Warrior was preparing his trusty fishing boat for another adventurous tour through the icy waters of Alaska when he noticed something out of the corner of his eye. Amidst the frosty air, a sudden flash of pure white shone brightly against the majestic and rugged backdrop of snow-capped mountains. Startled but intrigued, Roland's gaze fixated on the extraordinary sight before him. To his utter surprise and amusement, a magnificent polar bear gracefully swam behind his boat, making its way slowly through the frigid waves. Although encounters with polar bears were not entirely unheard of in this remote part of Alaska, the sight of one curiously following behind his vessel left Roland's heart pounding with excitement and his mind filled with endless questions. Roland had heard stories of what happens when polar bears and humans come into contact with each other, and he knew that it never ends well for the human. Polar bears are known for their remarkable swimming abilities, and this one seemed to be gaining on the boat despite its steady pace. Roland furrowed his brow in confusion, increasing the speed of the boat to create some distance between them. He hoped that the bear would eventually lose interest and swim away. However, its powerful limbs propelled it forward, creating impressive waves as it swam after the boat. Roland couldn't help but admire the bear's sheer determination, but also felt a rising sense of unease. He observed the bear continuing to follow. Roland suddenly realized that its immense size might cause him and the boat a big issue if it caught up, so he increased his speed to the maximum. Yet despite Roland's attempts to speed up and put some distance between them, it became evident that this bear was not willing to abandon its pursuit. Roland's heart began to race as the bear remained resolute, continuing its relentless chase even as the gap between them widened. Alarmed at the bear's relentless pursuit, Roland's concern began to morph into a deep sense of dread. He knew that polar bears rarely engage in trivial pursuits with such fervor, which intensified his belief that something was gravely wrong. But was the bear hunting, or was it something else? As Roland scrutinized the distressed animal more closely, his eyes widened with sheer horror when he realized something he hadn't noticed before. Not only was the bear struggling to swim, its powerful strokes hindered by an invisible force, but a look of visible distress was etched upon its face, reflecting its agony. Roland's heart suddenly ached with compassion and sympathy at the heart-rending sight unfolding before him. His eyes welled up with tears as it became painfully apparent that the magnificent polar bear, with its glistening white fur and powerful stature, had been hopelessly ensnared in a cruel fishing net. Despite its immense strength, the bear's struggles grew increasingly desperate, its magnificent form now reduced to a pitiful creature fighting for dear life. The net, tightly entangled around its limbs, cut deep into the bear's flesh, creating raw and bleeding wounds. The predator's roars of distress filled the icy arctic air, echoing the desperation and anguish it felt in the face of impending doom. The icy waters of Alaska were often frequented by fishermen, some of whom carelessly discarded their old and broken nets. It was likely that the bear had unwittingly become hopelessly tangled in one of these abandoned nets, making it arduous for the creature to swim and even keep its head above the water. Overwhelmed with empathy and compassion, Roland's eyes filled with tears. He could see that the net extended downwards into the dark frigid depths of the water, no doubt catching on rocks and things, pulling the bear down and holding it back. It was a horrific sight. Bringing his boat to a halt, Roland observed the polar bear from a safe distance, maintaining his cautiousness about the potential danger he and his boat might face. However, as the bear drew nearer, Roland made a decision. He would not allow this magnificent animal to perish in such a cruel manner. He had to do something to save it. He felt responsible for it as it had come to him for help. Polar bears, despite their size and ferocity, tended to keep away from humans. So for this one to be actively approaching Roland was a rare thing indeed, and to his eyes, the mighty animal was asking for his help. And for a creature as powerful as a polar bear to be so humble and come to a human for help indicated that something truly was terribly wrong. Resolute and determined, Roland retrieved his trusty knife from its sheath, feeling its familiar weight in his hand. 
With a mix of adrenaline and apprehension coursing through his veins, his trembling fingers tightened their grip around the handle as he waited for the bear to reach his boat. Leaning cautiously over the side of the creaking boat, he suppressed every nerve-wracking urge to startle the bear, knowing that any sudden movement could spell disaster. Mindful of the delicate situation, Roland's experienced hands moved with utmost caution and precision as he began to slice away at the entangling fishing net. Each cut was approached with the utmost care in a symphony of actions aimed at freeing the trapped animal without inflicting further harm. With each slice, the net's tight grip on the bear's fur loosened bit by bit, allowing it to regain its precious freedom. As Roland cut the net away, he collected as much of it as he could, tossing it into the boat, ensuring that it was out of harm's way and wouldn't cause any more issues for other animals. The bear, in a stroke of instinctual understanding, remained still in the water, treading peacefully as it witnessed the unfolding drama. The bear was close enough to grab at Roland and drag him into the water to his death, but it didn't do that. It simply waited, its eyes curiously following each movement the man and his knife made. Roland had to put both hands in the freezing Alaskan water to cut the part of the net that had been tangled under the bear's arms. He was scared out of his mind, but tried not to think about what could happen if he lost his balance and slipped into the water. Would he even be able to swim back to the surface and hoist himself up in the boat again with all the heavy clothes he was wearing? And would the bear help him or see him as prey? He couldn't let these chilling thoughts cloud his judgment though. He was on a mission, and a crucial one at that. Finally, after hours of careful work, Roland managed to complete the daunting task of freeing the polar bear from the entangled net. With a sense of accomplishment coursing through his veins, he gently wiped away his tears, feeling an overwhelming surge of relief and gratitude for having been able to make a difference in the bear's life. As he stood there, Roland couldn't help but notice the bear's gaze fixed upon him, filled with an inexplicable warmth that went beyond mere animal instinct. It was as if the polar bear conveyed an unspoken understanding of the profound impact Roland's compassion had made, a wordless message of profound gratitude and appreciation. They connected for that brief moment on a level that went beyond their different species. The polar bear, now unencumbered and free to roam once again, gently propelled itself forward, its powerful strokes cutting through the frigid Alaskan waters. It started heading towards the shore and no doubt the distant snowy plain that it called home. Roland, his heart heavy with both grief and joy, stood at the edge of his boat, witnessing this remarkable spectacle. He knew that he had witnessed something extraordinary, a moment of connection with nature that would forever remain etched in his memory. As the polar bear gradually disappeared into the vastness of the Alaskan wilderness, Roland's eyes followed its silhouette until it was no longer visible. In that moment, he felt a profound sense of purpose, reinforced by the realization that every life, no matter how different from our own, held immeasurable value. With a renewed commitment to preserving and protecting the delicate balance of nature, Roland set forth on his future endeavors, forever grateful for the encounter that had touched his soul. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible story? How would you have reacted if you'd noticed a polar bear pursuing you? Would you have fled or would you have offered help? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below.